Hello everyone, Rick here. Welcome back to my channel. We got some very mild weather this past February and I was able to take advantage of it and get some chores done in the garden. I pruned most of my trees and shrubs already and you can see here I pruned back my fruit trees very hard again this year. Last year I was supposed to come and prune them in the summertime but um, I just didn't have the chance to do it and there were a lot of wasps in the trees so this year I'll have to um, keep on top of that but I had to prune them back hard again and this is only their second year so I'm getting the, the structure right before allowing them to fruit. I also started cleaning up my perennial beds. Um, not too much because we might still get a frost or a hard freeze again before the end of April. So I just started to clear back some of the dead foliage and you can see lots of things popping up already. Some irises and foxgloves already here. I've also done some winter sowing. Um, just a few perennials. I find the perennials do better for me than annuals with the winter sowing method. So here I have blanket flower, roses, I'm going to try growing delphiniums again. I've tried to grow delphiniums for many years and they just always fail. Um, it's either too hot or too humid here and they just kind of just melt and never come back. Um, I'm sewing fox gloves again and trying to add to what I have there so that they self eventually self seed and sustain themselves and I'm also going to try growing liatris from seed which I collected last year. I also bought a few um, bare root perennials and bulbs. So I bought some hollyhocks, some more liatris, a, a canna, some caladiums and dahlias. As my garden is relatively more mature now, it's about three years old, I'm running out of space but really I'm figuring out the plants that I like and what do well here and I'm trying not to buy plants that I already have so I'm trying to in addition growing things from seed trying to learn how to propagate things from cuttings so this is a little bit of an experiment I have some cuttings in some sand here and I have what what cuttings I have I have some Rose of Sharon some Viburnum I took some cuttings when I was pruning um, some of my evergreen shrubs so I have some new cuttings here and Japanese black pine. So we'll see how these go. Um, hopefully I'm successful and if I am I'll just be taking cuttings like crazy come next year. In terms of flowers, not too much has changed since my last garden tour. Crocuses are still blooming strong. Daffodils are beginning to pop up as well as tulips. We also have some early blooming irises um, opening as well. In the North Garden, there's a little more action starting here and in beginning at the end of January and all through February, this witch hazel started to bloom and it's in full bloom now. I believe the cultivar is Diane and it has red flowers. The flowers start off red and then at the end they kind of go to an orange tinge. These don't really have a smell. I've never really smelt anything on this witch hazel. It's a very slow grower. So it should be good if you have a small yard. 
Also in the North Garden, the paper bush, Edgewardia, is beginning to bloom. And you can see the, the umbels here are starting to open. And this has a very sweet honey-like fragrance. I wish there was smell vision so you could smell it yourself. It's amazing. And finally, I just wanted to share this little pagoda lantern with you all. If you've been following me for a while, you've probably heard me say that I want to incorporate some more Japanese garden elements into my north garden. So I've been reading books and looking at lots of videos on Japanese gardens. And I intend to incorporate more elements specifically from Japanese tea gardens into the North Garden. And I saw this um, just window shopping and it was relatively affordable. Um, it's not stone, it's like resin. So it's a pla type of pl uh, plastic. Um, so I just got it because I really liked it and I added some moss. I picked some moss and added it, added it on there and hopefully it sticks on and starts to grow. It also has a little LED light and it lights up at night. So hopefully over time I'll be able to add some more Japanese elements to the North Garden. Well, that's it for this Garden Torn update. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again next time. Until then, goodbye.